We did it. We're in round number eight of YZS Milan 2018. It is the last round of day number one. That means we're going to cut the field after this round and only a few select players are going to be allowed to play in day number two. Basically as many as we had in one of the YCS like five years ago. For our last match of the day, we picked two French duelists who actually know each other. So let's not wait any longer and bring them in. In the blue corner, we got Cyril Boiron. <laughs> Here you go. Hi. Welcome. You even got the correct color code with blue and blue, so this works. How did you get here? What was your journey to Milan like? Um, it sounds fine. Um, I came with my, uh, my friends mm -hmm. in cars, so it was a very good moment. Did you drive? Uh, no. No? Uh, I, I can, but uh, not for this event. No, okay, okay, right. So how long did it take for you to get here? Uh, about uh, four hours. Okay. So uh, Milano is a good uh, is a good uh, destination because uh, it's um, close uh, from uh, Nice from France. Right. Oh, okay. Good. How are you feeling about the tournament going so far? You only got one loss, so you can't feel too bad about it. Um, I uh, I should um, make um, undefeated, but um, there something uh, get wrong uh, with the, the last uh, one. Okay. So I'm here with uh, one defeat, but. Uh, I'm uh, pretty confident uh, for the rest of the tournaments. Okay, okay. You're now going up against your friend Samir. You said you know him. Yeah. How are you feeling about your chances against him? Um, he's a really good player and uh, it's my uh, sensei. <laughs> okay, so I just uh, we will see uh, if I can beat him. All right. And how do you feel about playing in the feature match? Uh, that's a good moment because it's my first time. Um, I will see what... Uh, all right. <laughs> All right, great. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then we got the former European champion, Samir Basha. Hey, Samir. <laughs> How are you doing today? Uh, I'm happy because I'm playing versus my friends, mm -hmm. the same. And I like this deck playing today. I'm really, really funny. Yes. And it's going to be like very friendly atmosphere. You already talked to each other prior to this match. You seem to have a very good time. Yes, I think it's very good time. Okay. Yes. So how did you prepare for this tournament? Uh, I actually 6-1. I lost only versus uh, Darkwire Red uh, 60 cards. And I won all of the game. Okay, so pretty well. So the tournament is going pretty well so far. Yeah, uh, I think I'm a good choice thinking. Okay, okay. Sorry, but no, no problem. Please have a seat as well. So the players are in, we're almost ready to get this one started. You can either pick one or two dice, whatever you prefer. <laughs> okay, there's a discussion about the number of dice. Okay, do it is. Wow, that's an 11 from Samir, that's a record for the day. Let's see if Cyril can match it. He's got a seven, which is the average result. Okay, Samir, you can decide to go first. Do you want to go first? I go first. <laughs> All right, it is the popular choice today. Everybody went first who won the die roll. But that, the stage has been set. Our players are ready. We're ready to get our game on. We just need a few more minutes to prep these guys. And in the meantime, you're going to hear from Tom Payne and Marcello Barberi what they will be playing. Welcome back. Uh, it's the last round for day one. We're excited. excited. Uh, it was a, a really good day. A lot of different decks, and we yeah, have and uh, some yeah. decent like showing. Sometimes you bring the, the you know the cool looking deck on the feature match. Yeah. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do, but this time it is. They have. Yeah, and they and have we know that disappointed. the yeah the prank kids uh, is still undefeated. So Adam and Anson, multiple prank kids. Yeah, there are all prank kids showing up. up at the event. So it's quite surprising, and we are definitely. <laughs> Uh, excited to see what happens tomorrow with them because you never know they could be in the top cut They could even take down the whole thing for what we know from what so, we know. I mean, we don't really know <laughs> we don't, we <laughs> That's don't. probably what they're expecting. <laughs> Did you hear the uh, There was a time at the European Championship somebody was playing a deck that they thought was uncommon Which mm -hmm. was the worm deck okay. and they went out of their way to get all of the cards in Portuguese 
Oh, <laughs> so wow. that one would be out of reach. Damn, that's harsh, <laughs> though. Yeah, I mean, that's not a good thing to do. Thankfully, uh, Erman is playing everything in English, yeah, so that's indeed, good for yeah. his opponent. But yeah, we're here to talk about the last round. As uh, Oliver said, they're both uh, from France and they're both friends. Uh, personally, I think Samir, I mean, he's known for winning the European Championship, of he's course. He's also known for being like the friendliest exactly. guy exactly ever. As he's you one can of my tell from yeah, his interview. Ex <laughs> he's he's one like, of my favorite people in the game. How just are you in doing? General. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. I, we know you're happy. You're Samir. Like that's, that's just his, his punchline, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's so great to see a player that, uh, I mean, you have a lot of stress. You have a lot of competition around. Yeah, like it can make but, you feel yeah. stressed, but just to be so I mean, calm just and to keep is... being yourself and to enjoy essentially what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, you're That's competing. That's why we do it, right? Yeah, exactly. We're here to meet friends, to uh, see people from other uh, countries that we don't see that often and just enjoy some Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's really cool and refreshing to see people like Samir competing. And uh, uh, the other guy seemed friendly as well. He called him Sensei, which is quite a bold <laughs> statement. But yeah, what do you think? Uh, do, you, do you ever add uh, someone you were looking up uh, to when you started playing the game? Oh, no, I was far too cocky as a little kid. Uh, <laughs> OK, fair enough. I don't fair know enough. about you. No, for me, uh, it was weird. Honestly, I think when I was first was playing, uh, Stefano Memoli was one of the biggest names in Italy. And sometimes uh, it's weird when I uh, look back at the past, because now he's one of my best friends, even outside of the game. But if you were to to tell maybe 16 or 17 year old Marcello, he wouldn't believe you, you know, but now... He'd be starstruck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you never know, so it's cool to have uh, someone to look up to, and then uh, if you get to play it, even on future match, I think it gotta be exciting, even though scary for a serial. So I'm excited to see how we will approach this match, because uh, they're both playing different decks. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Interesting, like, Cyril's playing the Pendulum deck. Yep. And I remember people playing the Pendulum deck um, as and citing it as a deck that was particularly good in the format with Sky Strike. Yeah. ...anything, because Drawn Lockburb was yeah. like this three of card. And again, this like complete lack of a need to like be pulling cards out of the deck is probably going to be serving extremely well against a deck like Thunder Dragon. So there's a few search cards. He's got the three Pendulum call, but yeah, that's basically Kings, it. But yeah, I get, you can I, more or less just ignore the powerful effect. I agree. It depends the on Colossus, uh, on the on the game plan, I guess, because uh, we will but just see how it goes. As and for what Samir's playing, I can see Fairy Tale Snow. I'm excited about that, but Definitely. the rest of his cards are in French. So let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see if Snow comes in handy, and let's go to the table. Yeah, I really want to see Snow trigger like three <laughs> Thunder Dragons in, a, in one yeah. game. Yeah, I mean, it actually won the UDS in Mexico, the last event. Uh, Thunder Dragon won playing Snow, and he did by having uh, Seraphinite as a second target for Brilliant Fusion. Uh -huh. I, it could oh, be possible cool. that Samir has chosen to do the same thing. Uh, yeah, he is playing Brilliant Fusion. So, yeah, that, well, Fusion Brilliante. Yeah, it's possible oh, that it, that's yeah, he's playing not Seraphinite how you say as it well. In Maybe that's his method. Yep. But I can't really analyze his deck list so well because yeah, his just handwriting is challenging me. And I mean, I've got the, the side frame Lord Gamma. Yeah, he's playing Gamma. He even says side frame Lord. Doesn't I don't know. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he messed up a little bit there, but I mean, it doesn't really Most matter. Most people know what he means. He can just write Gamma. And he does draw the Brilliant Fusion. So depending what he wants to do, he could send us no, but unlikely, I guess. He will see what he wants to do. On the other hand, as you said, there is Pendulum. Uh, a deck that, after the limitation of uh, Electromite, has kind of fallen in popularity a little bit, but it's still out it's there. Kind of been in a, every, ever since Master Rule 4 came down, yeah. I think that everyone was kind of like, this deck's taking a big hit. And, yeah. But it, it's, it's been popping up. Exactly. It proved them wrong back in April, where uh, it kind of dominated for a while. There was the FTK, there, there was. was a lot of... Uh, yeah, Pendulum was really good, and then after the limitation, it's kind of changed. It's more of a grind deck because uh, uh, you have to accumulate some combos, and Apex Savion in particular is back uh, its prime, <laughs> and in fact, Cyril is maining three Apex Savion. That's kind of an interesting choice. I yeah. think the, um, the Pendulum deck, a lot of people are worried that it can't afford to run too many non-Pendulum cards. 
because of the potential, like Pendulum, obviously, they require to put two cards in the scales, and then if you've only got three cards left, and if one of them's not a Pendulum card, you might be struggling to do anything at I all. Agree. Um, so, I mean, there really aren't that many non-Pendulum cards in Cyril's deck, to be fair. So he's got the Impermanence, two of those, and three Avians, and that's basically it. His spell cards all get him some Pendulum cards. Definitely. But we've got Samir on the... Yeah, on the opening on end. On the play. And is the Brilliant Fusion? Go on, Samir. Send snow. That's what we want to see. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Samir. He can do it. I don't know what else he wants he to do. Oh, he does. Yes. Here we go. I kind of want more cards put in the graveyard. I feel like snow is normally indicative of more crazy combos than just <laughs> send it to the graveyard. But I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Can't ask for more. He did send it, so. He did. What does he do with the Seraph Knight now? I mean, he can just tribute it for a Thunder Dragon, and that's not the end of the world, so... Um, yeah, but he hasn't used a Thunder Dragon effect in his hand yet. Yeah. I but he's got Hawk. But he's got Hawk and Roar, so for example, he could tribute it for Roar, and then... Okay, Impermanence uh, negates the Seraphine Knight, so that he can't gain the second normal. Doesn't oh. really seem all that worth it. Yeah. Cyril's hand doesn't come up yet, unfortunately. Um, Especially because he can just link for anything generic yeah, if he like does. Yeah, he can just link an Underclock Taker or whatever the Underclock Taker is in French. Um, if he runs Underclock Taker. He does play Taker. Reproducus. Oh, he plays Reproducus. Yeah, Reproducus. That's quite nice. You yeah. can turn some random card into a... Th I don't think you need to because all your cards are Thunder anyway, but... <laughs> At least you can make Summon Sorceress easy. You can make like Summon that. Sorceress. Yeah, that's all pretty cool. So he gets the Diffusion and... Uh, I suppose the Hawk. I, I would probably prefer to keep the... I don't really see what the Thunder Dragon does that much with their second normal summon. I think I would rather keep... But I mean, yeah. Just to I either agree. negate something bigger, like a Summon Sork, or just negate a Titan. Yeah, definitely. But we will see to it as to how impactful it's going to be. I mean, if Cyril, Cyril's drawn, like, multiple... Um, Pendulum call, he's going to be feeling Yeah, sad. and to be honest, the, the more I think about it, the more I see cards that can be negated by Colossus in a sense that there are a lot of churches actually, because there are three Pendulum Call and there are all the Mythical Beast Engine, which is also... Oh, that's the, new, isn't it? The Mythical yeah, Beast Yeah, because they search also the deck. There is also the Supreme King, uh, which also searches. So yeah, I think uh, I mean, Colossus... you get the summon first. Yeah, but you don't get a search, hurts, which, but yeah, you want the search. Yeah, so it might actually hurt more than it seems. But yeah, as someone sorcerers, it's the field. You can get the matrix ball, the matrix, yeah. The ball. The ball. <laughs> the, <laughs> that it that looks like a dragon ball. Is that what me. it's called in uh, Italian? Thunder <laughs> dragon ball. Yeah, <laughs> most likely. Thunder yeah, dragon. dragon ball just yeah. seems uh -huh. easy, you know? Thunder dragon origin. And, uh, okay, the Sire is in Cyril Land. At least that doesn't search, but... Well, it does get negated by Ash, though. Yeah. Which is just never a good feeling. But there are... Is there an Ash? Uh, oh. Yes, there is. It's just not come up on there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. Well. Well, well, well. I'm not sure there could be much more asked for on Samir's part. There we are. He eventually uses his normal summon to tribute. Yeah. <laughs> Feels kind of silly. And, uh, yeah, really good opening. He oh. correctly summons everything in defense. So man knows what's up. I think he has double Apex, so this Ash Blossom is going to be huge. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't seem happy. I'm pretty sure he has double Apex in his hand. He does. Can he pen them? Yeah. No, he cannot. Unfortunately, he can't do... Much so even with the impermanence, yeah, quite unfortunate. And he knows that the titan was there and with the matrix to pop something else, so even a scale. So there was no hope for Cyril. Quite a fast game, uh, you can't really blame him. He, he Samir played it really well, he opened really he good, even had the snow in his yeah, even had well. the snow exactly excessive, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You Excessive force from the snow. You can see why you play the snow. It's also really good because it banishes your Thunder Dragons in Grave next turn. So it's such a good card for advantage. So do you think that these players will be knowing each other's deck lists? Um, it depends how much of, of a sensei Samir is actually for it's, him. I mean, I'm looking at something like 
the wing dragon of Ra's fear mode for Cyril, right? Yeah. Which could definitely come in, but obviously if Samir knows that, it's very it's not that hard to play around in sphere mode. You just put two monsters on the field rather than three. Um, we got to see. I mean, I mean, we can't know for sure because they are friends, so it's quite possible that they know each other decklist, but it's also possible that they don't, uh, <laughs> they don't since at an event, even though you're playing a friend, you don't really want to show your decklist to anyone else unless you're actually preparing with them. So since they're playing different decks, it's also quite possible that they don't know card by card what they're using. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for Cyril, uh, I don't expect him to side deck much because at the end of the day, Pendulum is still a combo deck. It you want to put me, up yeah. a lot of negations. Do you, do you think Pendulum chooses to go first or second? Uh, I would say first, for sure, because you can't uh, out uh, the Colossus really efficiently. So... But what, what sort of board are you putting up? Against Just sticking to the game plan, Tom. Stick to the game plan. <laughs> yeah, there's only one. I know, but now the game plan has changed. It's uh, as many negations I, as you can. I'm not sure you can stick to the game plan and then change the game plan and claim that you are still sticking to it. You're kind of sticking to it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... <laughs> stick to the game plan, not that one. <laughs> to the game plan. I mean, you can see there is uh, a few act interesting extra deck cards for him. I mean, Spell and Trap negation is still relevant, but I mean, you can summon Epic Savians, uh, the Mythical Beast, uh, Jackal and the King. They're all negations, so that's your goal. But let's see. Samir opens Book of a lot of side deck cards. So he has Gamma, which is huge against Electromite, since there is only one left. Book of Eclipse is a weird one, but it makes sense to get rid of... It forces a negation, essentially. I mean, there aren't Link Monsters, right? So Yeah, yeah just... all the end is... Maybe I know... Yeah? Double, Double Wisdom, wisdom right? Right? That's nice. Yeah. But all the end is... Yeah, cards that can be put face down, so it's it's an okay card to force a negation. It's kind of nice for Samir, because he's got, like... It's kind of almost what you want going second, is minimal push in the form of a single... Yeah, raw. Uh, raw is. I, forget, I keep getting raw wrong. <laughs> I'm thinking of Thunder Dragon Dark. Yeah. He can't really do anything now. But now this Gamma is gonna be so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my challenge is like so good. Oh, Gamma. <laughs> my Gamma. My my love. <laughs> you know. You know. Uh, I'm I mean, in love it just with traded it. for one card. It's insane, man. <laughs> it's insane. Do you not get how good it is? What yeah. if he draws the next game? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's still really good. It's, it's still, still good. really good. It's still really good. He's only running one driver though. It's still really good. You can't understand how good it is. Can you get it back somehow? Can you get uh, the? Can you make a Cyframe Lord Omega and? You can dream, but you can. It's a psychic, so you can't shuffle you it back in for your Thunder Dragon fusion. You, but you don't need to, because one gamma is enough to win. You could the game. use pot of acquisitiveness. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fair enough. But we're not going to see it happen. <laughs> Unlikely. Oh, luckily though, he has uh, harmonizing in hand, which is pretty good to our draw. So he's at least able to. Did he just add back the time gazer? <laughs> yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter what you get back, as long as it's something you can pendulum summon. Unfortunately, there is only one electromite, so he's not going to be able to go into a second one for. Uh, at some advantage. Um, does he play other generic rank shoes? I would guess so. So probably Link the two. Witch Apprentice. <laughs> Link shoes. What did I say? Rank shoes? Rank twos. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the Apprentice comes down. And then you just, you can't really be making Gamma, can you? You've got to make something else. Evil Swarm Nightmare. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a pretty nice card. It is, but at the same time, you can fusion summon with set cards. So it's not that good. Okay, maybe it's not that good. I mean, it, against Thunder Dragon itself is. If all seem you to be can do is fusion summon once, though, it's but like I mean, once you resolve one effect, any Colossus you bring out, like or cards you bring out, even if he puts it face down, you can just tribute and play. But if you don't get a Link Monster out, then you, you're limited yeah. to one. But so it, it's if it doesn't put it face down, I mean, you're top decking. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I, I don't think it's that good, but I mean, it's all he has, so. One card I'd seen that was oh, and that's picking an out some popularity was uh, Steel Swarm Roach. Yeah, that's that seems cool. Has a has an added bonus of defeating Dino Wrestler Pankratrox. Would have been really good down. here. I think um, uh, the Roach could have been really cool. You're you right. See, he has drawn the second Gamma now, and now what's he gonna do? <laughs> you know what he's gonna do? I don't know what he's gonna do. He doesn't need to do anything because one Gamma is enough. <laughs> what? But but. 
<laughs> no buts. <laughs> no. But yeah, the Pancrofts was really good to deal with the Nightmare and... Uh, That's it though. Yeah. That's all the gas for Samir. The old set matrix and pass. Yeah. Ah, and set book, lest set we eclipse. forget. I mean, activating Book of Eclipse on your <laughs> opponent's turn is quite possibly the saddest. I mean, it can steal some games, to be fair, but... It can. But if you're giving your opponent, like, three draws... I know. ...and you didn't do anything last turn... And now Cyril can you've capitalize got a dead on gamma. <laughs> you called it, though. I mean, uh, Samir is going to be mad at you, not at me. <laughs> so. uh, this was you, like, one is definitely enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm biased, though. Uh, it could have been a ghost ogre. Oh, don't, don't mark on Gamma, please. Uh, it thinned Leave his deck it alone. as well. Leave it alone. Yeah. But now he's able to Pendulum Summon now 3. He can, first of all, bring back, add another card. Yeah, and he's he can Pendulum Summon both 3. Dragon for a second time. Yeah. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever seen? Yeah, Oath, Oath is Dragon really good. more than once. <laughs> And, oh, he, did he draw into an... Yeah, he drew into another harmonizing for turn. Why not? Wow. Is Samir just going to do it? Just go, yeah, you draw four. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't yeah. care. <laughs> I mean... It's looking pretty grim. Draw five. <laughs> do you draw for the... I think you only draw for your own. Yeah. No, but he's going to have five more. Oh, he just pendulum. Sorry, I thought he just fished the Wisdom Eye out of the deck, but no. No, he... no, no. And if he doesn't do it now, though, then down he comes He can go into Norito. Norito. Yeah. I assume he is running. Yeah, he's playing it. Norito is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, no. And he does flip it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a draw five sign me in, honestly. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah. Would you swing over the monster? He probably knows what it is, yeah. Um, so yes. Yeah, I'd say so as well. Because you would rather they did not have the chance to like, have someone. it on the field, I guess. It's yeah. Just, it's probably better to... How big is it, though? Uh, surely it is bigger, smaller than the Dark Witch. I'm pretty sure it's zero. I think it, no, I think it's actually huge in defense, but it got over it nah. only thanks to which... Is it not? I don't know. Maybe. It is 2,000. Wow. But only thanks to the, the bonus. Witches. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the bonus decrease. I did not know that. Yeah. I knew it had zero attack. Okay, now it gets five cards, which must feel nice. And uh, <laughs> is, where is going to draw the third Maybe gamma? The third gamma is drawn. Th <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, another book of the clips. Okay. One more goal. He's going to deck him out. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal. He can, he can, like, summon a... A Thunder Dragon now, right? Yeah. They, which is so good against six monsters, obviously. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing. It is. Yeah, had that Nightmare been a Roach, yeah. that would have been pretty nice. I think it would have been a much better. Uh, yeah. One Thunder Boy against the, <laughs> an army of Pendulum. A 2-4 roach. Yeah. Because <laughs> of the witch's apprentice. All right. And it, not forgetting it can gain 500 attack. Yes. Because of the matrix. Which is... Uh, Pretty powerful. Game-changing. And he's got a gamma in his hand, which is enough to win. <laughs> exactly. That's all he needs. <laughs> we already said it, so... <laughs> no need to repeat that. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, Tax is gonna be able to get back anything. Anything. Well, wow. even anything itself. Down. Even itself. Maybe a harmonizer. How magician. crazy would it have been if it could back Electromite? Oh, that would have been. Is the cool. is the fire one in the TCG yet? I think so. Yeah, yeah, it is. I remember uh, Infernoid players used it. <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> I don't remember any Infernoid player. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> Uh, is is oh, I thought Smith was conceded. Is, I don't okay. about that. Okay, he now goes for uh, Titan. And well, it has one interrupt. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if the Book of Eclipse is going to be enough somehow. 
I feel like you just make something to force out your opponent's yeah. back row or something. What what outs are in the extra deck for? For what? Just like the Thunder Dragon monsters without destroying He's cards. He's playing uh, the Utopia package as well. Which that could come doesn't in out handy. it, though. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, in general. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, it's a handy package. I, yeah. I can't. Uh, and he has the Gnister, obviously, the Gnister. which is the obvious out. Does um, the... What's its name? The Pendulum Dragon require the monster to be in attack mode in order to bounce it. Which one? Uh, Vortex. Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. Yes. It Only does. bounce attack monsters. Yeah, that was what I thought. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I think the only card he has is actually the Gnister. Is there even any point using Book of Eclipse? You probably don't want to set your own Matrix, uh, not Matrix, um, Titan. Titan at this point. So, I don't know why you would use it. Because it does set as Titan, right? Yeah, and, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can just flip the Oath Dragon anyway. Yeah. Oh, he's chaining it, okay. Is he going to pop the Oath Dragon? Or pop uh, the, his, his own? Pop itself. And then protect itself. And summon a Thunder Dragon. <laughs> ah, Samir's having fun. Yep. And now, being phased down, Cyril also has access to the Supreme uh, King Dragon Clearwing. I think he's got, yeah, it gives you access to a lot more yep. random stuff. You know, now you can just destroy it. Yep. Um, but he is going to have another Thunder Dragon monster to contend with. Thunder Dragon Dark. So let's see how he wants to go for this. Uh, I mean, the one zone lockdown is relevant, but he has so much advantage that he can do a lot. Yeah, I feel like if he just remembers that he can flip the Oath Dragon Magician back up again, then he'll probably be golden. Um, Pretty sure he knows. What's his favorite? His favorite what? What do you think his favorite out is? Maybe it's just Ignister. You can make Ignister. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind the Supreme King as well. It's just a Regeki, so... Just a Regeki. Just a Regeki. Just Not casu that much. casual Regeki. Save the Ignister, you know? For when yeah. You're, when you're feeling down, make the Regeki. Is it even... I mean, Smith's not taking any damage yet. Yeah. He, he could save the Oath Dragon and flip it up in his end phase for a draw instead. <laughs> Can he, uh, has he added for the Oath Dragon for the third turn on the track? Uh, not yet. He's mad pluses. Because he, he had to use Pendulum Call, otherwise he couldn't. Oh yeah, Pendulum Call has some funny restrictions, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh. Oh, he's going to tribute someone. Oh yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Apex. Or... <laughs> Shank. Shank. <laughs> why? I reckon he forgot that he could flip it. <laughs> I don't see why you need to tribute. I would think so as well. Um, I mean, he can pendulum summon like... Yeah, he can do whatever four. he wants. He has four pendulum summons available. Does he run any cool rank sevens? I mean, he, he only has the absolute dragon, which is more than enough. And the Zephra afterwards. I quite like the the rank four, which I'm not sure is being run, but uh, that we makes you make it with two dark level four pendulums. Oh yeah, and it does like yeah, yeah, yeah. many the thousands OTK one. of damage. Yeah. it's still a supreme king. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember the name. Yeah, it's the supreme king X Y Z. There is only one for each yeah. extra deck monster. I remember it being yeah. pretty cool. It was quite useful in some situations. Okay. Oh, he can even use the other effect of Oath Dragon. He's running three Oath Dragons. Madness. Wow. Maybe he likes his Naruto. <laughs> but that is a lot of Oath Dragons. It is. I mean, we can't fault him. He's, he's got them all in play at once. I think it's a first. <laughs> so something's I haven't going seen well three off him. on the board. Ever? Ever, yeah. <laughs> Unless there was some very obscure win condition that involved uh, rank sixes, which I suppose there is now with the Zephyrs and the Galangir and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, madness. Uh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> you don't like it? 
Uh, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I just don't want to play it against it you know? <laughs> or anything like that. I don't know. It feels like a, a reasonable good win. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, is this, is this clearing? Yeah, it looks like clearing. Oh, it's a Ignister, I think. Okay. Yeah, I feel like he's quite likely to win this game. Yeah, I mean, he only has to... He has a puzzle, essentially, in front of him. He just has to put the pieces together, and it's, it's not going to be... easy hard. puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not all puzzles are difficult, <laughs> necessarily. I don't know, he's link summoning now for Boral Sword. Yeah. Is this excessive? Is it even game? Uh, I don't think it is game now. Uh, he's got the... Um, the Pendulum scale that will let him summon another monster from his yeah. graveyard, which would be game. Is he using it? He's not. Okay, that's only 6,000 damage. Yeah, that's not game. And now his board is not even that good, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, he missed that. He could have gone for the. Uh, clear wing? No, no, not just the clear. Yeah, he even the Black just, Fang, could honestly. Could he not just have attacked with the board before making Boral Sword in one? Yes, but no, I, I think he was missing a little bit. But if he used the Black Fang to just summon something back from. Oh no, he couldn't use the Black Fang because of uh, Pendulum. Oh, Ball. yeah. But I mean, he could just go Clear Wing or anything. I think it was. I feel like. I think yeah. he just may have had 8,000 damage before making Boral Sword. Almost. Because he had like. It was Oaf Dragon. Yeah. Because uh, they were all. Uh, they were all big monsters. They were all big. I think it was, yeah. It surely was game, but. He gets the Dragon Dark. But now, yeah. Samir's got, he's, he's still got the Gamma. I mean, I don't see Samir being in a good position even, but he's giving him a chance. Okay. And the bell is definitely too much. Samir picks up his card and we're gonna go to game three. So. I'm interested in the bell in the main deck going first. first. Yeah. I mean, it is good against Thunder it Dragons. It is good. But going first with Pendulum. Yeah, you just don't want to draw anything that's not a combo card usually. So you just can't with Pendulum. I know. But maybe he just thinks he has triple Pendulum call desires, so he could afford it. Yeah, I mean, it can be used as a discard for Pendulum Yeah, but call. it doesn't mean that it's correct to you have it. <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. It yeah, worked hopefully out Hopefully he him. will be siding out his Pendulum calls. To be fair, though, if you look at his main deck, he is maining uh, double impairments. So if you want to choose, you'd rather have uh, Bell than Impairments, because he doesn't that's really true. have anything else. He doesn't decide. have any more combat cards to put in. Yeah, so that's fair. Um, I mean, I guess Pancrops could have been kind of nice a, a card. Because yeah. you, no, you can use Pendulum Summon and use it as an interruption, kind of. Yeah, it's also a level 7 in yeah. worst case. For odd dice, but yeah, that's about it. And uh, now uh, it's going to be interesting to see if we see a repeat of Game 1. Or if Serial uh, is able to draw the Ghost Bell or the Sphere Mode, because that's going to be huge, as you said. If Samir doesn't know that could there are Sphere huge. Modes, it yeah. could be insanely Yeah. It's, it's, it's really hard to tell like whether it's worth even siding in. I mean, I feel like if I'm a Thunder Dragon player, I mean, I guess it really depends on what deck you're playing against. If you're playing against a deck like Sky Striker, where yeah. you want to outvalue them, and you don't want to get blown out by a... Then exactly. something like that, then you just don't make a big board. But against a deck that's as threatening as Pendulum, you might feel the need. It, yeah. And then you can get blown out by evenly matched or swim mode. Yeah. Having that added pressure adds a bit, I think. Definitely. And uh, we can see also Samir doesn't have much going first. He just has maybe the Imperial Order, which you're, you're going to side against Pendulum, of course. It doesn't but yeah, it's good. It's all right. You're going to get all the good spells, like Pendulum Call Desires. Yeah, I, I, I really hope that Cyril sides out Pendulum Call against Thunder Dragons. Uh, I would say so, but you never know. Yeah, you should side those out. But, I mean, you can still lock him under some weird scales. Yeah, you could, like, negate Wisdom Oath Eye. Dragon. Yeah, that's the one, Wisdom Eye and Oath, I guess. Uh, your favorite cards, no, is Drone. So, oh, no, That's drone. not very good, is it, though? No. Is Snow my favorite card? <laughs> I love it in Thunder Dragons. I it's definitely know. up there. It's definitely a cool card. Is he just going to pass? That's what he no. looked like he was doing. He's, his no. hand was motioning. Yeah, I know, by the, he has, he has <laughs> <a> really <laughs> His good hand. hand does not look like a passing hand. It looks like a going hand. 
My favorite card's probably Upstart Goblin. It's is a bit it? boring, but I just like giving people life points, you know? <laughs> you're, you're they have more life points, so then the I ropes. can OTK yeah. them and it's better. Nice, nice. <laughs> now, mine is Saji the Dark Clown, for whatever reason. I'm just real. I mean, maybe I should go full, like, Upstart and, and go past Upstart and run into the Void. Don't. Don't? I, I played it back. <laughs> <laughs> I won the European Championship with Clifford Towers on stream and I went twice in a row into the void discard my whole end because I bricked. <laughs> so. Yeah, but you would have bricked anyway. I'm not going to use it again, <laughs> ever. <laughs> I mean, now that Droll's a card, it feels very sketchy. Yeah. I probably, if, if I was run it, playing this weekend and playing the Danger deck, I probably would have run into the void. Yeah. I just want an excuse to run it. I just want a deck with like Upstar, Into the Void, Trade In, Allure, Beginning of the End, I don't know, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. I can see your point. All the fun stuff. <laughs> but, I don't know, maybe back to the, the game at hand. Yeah, he opens with the Brilliant Fusion and Butterman Solar, the order was yeah. a little confusing. Why would you use Summon the Solar after the Gold Sarcophagus? Um, no idea. I mean, it only gets one token anyway, right? And he's definitely going to yeah, get I mean, that He's going to get the token anyway, but yeah, I, so I guess so. But I mean, wouldn't you rather have an Ash or a Negation on the Solar so than a, on a Sarcophagus or Brilliant Fusion? No one's going to Ash the Solar, are they? I don't know, but maybe they are gonna go stalker it, impairments, whatever. You don't know what they have, so I guess they could. They shouldn't, but they could. Oh yeah, for now it doesn't seem like he's gonna be playing around evenly or sphere mode. We'll see. It's a little soon to judge, but let's it's far see. too easy to get excited. Yeah, <laughs> when you got a hand, and you're like, I'm gonna combo now. <laughs> Here we go. Um, using that extra normal summon to get the snow yeah. into the graveyard. He did. Oh, it's time. Isn't it? In a wrong zone, though? Did he summon it solar in a wrong zone? Uh, maybe. I mean, it would have been easier, but he can always add Hawk. I know. But now his plays would be stopped quite short if his opponent... Oh, no, he's got the uh, Thunder Dragon fusion as well. Yeah, but... but if there was a bell and no Thunder Dragon fusion, yeah. then it would not be ideal. Um, kind of an unnecessary risk in a way, but, I mean, it's not going yeah, really I mean, to matter. He, he's got the fusion, so... Yeah. But yeah, I agree. I think the Zola, that the Solar is in the wrong zone. Now he can just summon out Thunder Dragon for the hell of it. Yeah. Just want to see Sphere mode. <laughs> oh, and the bell was there. The bell is there. So, so without this last card in his hand, <laughs> he yeah. would be in some danger. However, he has not um, used a Thunder Dragon effect in his hand this turn. You're right. I don't think. You're definitely right. I think so. So, I mean, he can still make Colossus. But it's a huge thing, yeah. I mean, like, he can't get one into his hand, surely. So, I mean, it's not going to matter the zone that the Solar was in, I don't think. I, mean, I think that bell was always going to hurt him. He could get one, but yeah. Because you can get the... Matrix and use it if you really want. I know, mate. You can all of the Thunder Dragons are only once. Yeah, but you didn't use the Matrix effect in hand. So how does he add the Matrix to his hand? With uh, Sorceress. Can't he? Well, if you summon it. Yeah. And then you use its effect to add, then you can't use the effect in the hand. Oh, yeah. I don't think. I mean, it yeah, might yeah, be the yeah, Matrix yeah, yeah, is yeah, different, yeah. but most no, of them. No, no, you're right. Use. They are either one or the other, yeah. And, uh, it's quite a big restriction. So this bell has put it, like, even with the hand of Samir looking as powerful as it was. Yeah, I'm, uh, it was a little sketchy. I think maybe with a different line, he could have been able to use it. But yeah, even with such a powerful hand, this bell alone was quite annoying. 
But it's not like he doesn't have a board at all. <laughs> oh, he can't do that. Yeah, he yeah. can't. But so he's I was going to say, his board's looking better than it should. I mean, he still has the snow, so let's not underestimate this opening because he has a lot still. No, snow is mad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um. And especially against Pendulum, snow can be huge because uh, if they get rid of uh, Electromite or you don't even get to that, it's one of the few decks where you can get to face down a monster in the extra deck zone. Yes. And that means you can't do anything for the rest of the turn. Unless the Summon Sorceress remains giving him uh, an extra monster zone. True. An extra, extra monster zone. Extra, extra. Yeah. So extra. <laughs> um. But yes, Summoner is not even relevant in the zone, so he's probably going to link it away. And but what's he going to do? Like make a borrow sword? <laughs> I mean, I, mean. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this hasn't gone especially oh. well for yeah. Samir. I quite liked Cyril's, like, he put his hand face down. He Definitely. knew that there was the bell. Yeah, that he was He wasn't, it. like, playing with it. You know, normally, I think maybe if your opponent's hand is face down, you might be tempted into thinking they've got nothing. So, And now he has uh, the option to just go wild. Let's see if this Desiris gets him to the sphere mode. Because I saw there is a pendulum call, so he didn't side them out. And there is uh, a sphere mode. Banished, though. Yes. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of keeping, keeping in the yeah, pendulum I agree. call against the deck, which he spits out. He gets foolish, and he does not get the sphere mode. He's got Janky, though, so yeah. he can, once he's... I suppose you're not going to get the Janky on the board without Pendulum Summoning. And as, to top it off, uh, Colossus is dark and not light, so yeah, that's not exactly. very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> if his opponent had a Titan, it would be oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he didn't banish all the Supreme Kings, he can go for Foolish into Did it. Did he banish three of them? I don't think so. Oh, I see. I, I hope see. not for him. That was just a hypothetical. It wasn't like what's yeah. actually happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't. If. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, there yeah. is still the snow, which he has to keep in mind. Exactly. The and snow will not only, you know, interrupt Cyril, yeah, but it will it also... It will give him two cards, Yeah, leave Samir loads of cards. So Samir's lone card in hand is a Thunder Dragon Matrix. Yeah. And Cyril's hand, we can't see either. Uh, I saw it pretty much. He has not too... He has, like, a Jackal Pendulum Call. Um, yeah, the Apex Avian and... It's not looking too great. Maybe there is a Poison, Wisdom Eye, and Poison, I think. No, Black Fang. I mean, the Wisdom Eye is pretty good. Yeah. He's going to get an Oath. Yeah, that's actually oath a really good back one. the Wisdom Eye. Because then he has a Yankee and uh, an Apex Avian. Is that a... Is that a what has that being summoned? Do you just Pendulum? No, the normal summon it. Ah, cunning. <laughs> yeah. He can do that too. <laughs> Apparently. These new plays. Normal summon in 2018. I know. Who would have thought? I mean, you don't really need to in danger. <laughs> you don't, actually. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, you can't. <laughs> you actually can't, yeah. <laughs> Who needs normal summons when you have Grinder going? I feel like now would probably be Samir's time to use the snow. Yes, I guess. I mean, he's going to add, like, two cards to his hand. Yeah, it can, and he can also potentially shuffle them yeah. back if he feels brave enough. Oh, I like that. Yeah, definitely a good decision there. Because he would give me one extra deck zone. You know uh, that I think Cyril's going to be able to make major use of the extra zones. Let's see. Solar? Wow. Okay. Rather than a sarcophagus? <laughs> uh, sure. Wow. So snow... Set the whichever. I feel like maybe the the king is a more useful link material because it can be made. Um, it's dark. Uh, I guess. So just the only thing is that you can use the other one with harmonizing potentially. Yes, yeah. that is true as well. It's fairly like neither here nor there. I think. I think yeah. either one can be used, and you don't really know what your opponent's got. It shouldn't got. really matter much. My instinct is the dark one is better, but it is definitely true the harmonize. But if he summons harmonizing, he'll have something yeah. else to uh, link or X Y Z with the harmonize. In fact, you don't. Even, you can link whatever with the harmonizing anyway. Okay, so he decides to shuffle first, which is really good in my opinion. I would rather add the the extra matrix and then about. 
Oh, maybe not. It depends ah, where you're I mean, born. it's rather to just have one matrix and the add and just sh rather than have a two matrix, like, why would you want a second one? Well, then you can shuffle them both in. But then you're forced to shuffle the whole hand, because if you put it as... I mean, yeah, you can put it in between, you're right, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind the one. Yeah, I mean, maybe the one. It's close enough, I guess. But I don't think he is that good of a spot. If you shuffle and draw first, then you're more likely to draw the matrix. <laughs> You've got more in your deck, which is the bad draw. So you should add you the matrix. Shuffle both. Both, yes. No, I mean like so. If you, if you, so he's gonna add one, and yeah. then so if he adds a matrix first, and then shuffles one of the matrix in, into the hand, then he's less likely to draw that matrix again. Whereas if he adds, uh, if he shuffles in first, then he's now got three matrixes in the deck, which he can draw. Uh, he only, yeah. So he's got one more matrix. He's got a higher, slightly higher chance of yeah, drawing you another copy of matrix. You can choose uh, how many. Yeah, you can choose. So you yeah, can okay shuffle then, one yeah. In. I thought you were forced to shuffle the entire hand. I know, it's as many as you like. Okay, then yeah. Slightly. I mean, having said that, banishing all of your Thunder Monsters does make the Colossus a lot weaker. Weaker. Because you can just attack over it now. Yep. Which you do, it doesn't feel like you ought to be able to do. Uh, but he can. Did he I banish think. all of them? Or did he keep anything? I I think he kept we the, can look the Gem the Knight. Yeah, there's an Amber. The Gem Knight is there, so it's... It's not uh, super easy. It's, it's hard to see because I'm not sure the graveyard's Yeah, I think he only kept fully. one, so now it's gone. And then the Wisdom Eye is bigger than the Summoner? No? Yes? No, it's not. How big is the Summoner? 16. Ah, just they, they knew when they made Summoner that of it course, was very important. To make it bigger than Wisdom Eye. To make it bigger than Wisdom Eye. For this exact moment. Okay. Yeah, now we can go into Electromite. For what it's worth, mm. why couldn't he go into Electromite before? He could. He, no, no, no. Before he could, it, it was not worth it because you need to. Yeah, to you still attack. want to attack over there. I yeah. don't know if it was actually better to go for uh, an odd dice instead of the Apex to just bounce back. I don't know. It's close enough, I guess. Is Apex level seven? Yeah. Yeah, it must be because yeah. you can pendulum it. Uh, uh, I don't know. I guess. I it's mean, close. maybe he could have extended his plays further by uh, getting the chronograph and then yeah. adding it to his hand. He should be able to do a little bit of He can work. now use the pendulum call as well. If he... Can you? Oh. I um, think he used the oath already this turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he can't. It seems like a really heavy restriction. Like, it used to be like, okay, I understand this restriction. These, these, yeah. these, these uh, magician cards are so powerful, they need to be restricted. But now you're just like... Pendulum Call's pretty average, and now I, I can't even use it. <laughs> yeah. um, he gets called by the grave, and... I guess we see the effect of Snow, like... Even though his first turn was pretty average... I mean, both Game 1 and 3, it was actually really good. But this... He's now got all these resources back. Like, his first yeah. turn was... You know, he ended with a, a single Colossus, which is, like, by Thunder Dragon standards... Bad. Pretty naff. Yeah. Um, but now he's got, you know, now he's going to be able to sneak the uh, the, the unicorn in under. And he can the, chain them yeah. so that the Apex can't negate it. So. Yes, indeed. Very sneaky. Um, I mean, he still gets back to the end, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. Okay, he's. Oh, okay. I mean, I, wouldn't you rather the unicorn? What happened to the matrix? He, he didn't, oh, maybe he was. Oh, maybe only plays two matrix. But uh, then I, I'm not gonna be able to tell. Maybe he sided it out. I don't know. No, he plays three, but uh, it's weird. No, I don't think he can play two because then he wouldn't be, have been able to do what he did last turn. But let's see. Maybe he. I don't know. Here we see the duo coming. What? Well, maybe we should look at what Thunder Dragon Duo does. So it banishes, it banishes the Light and the Dark to summon itself, right? Yep. And then if it destroys something by battle, it gets a bonus effect, is that right? Yeah, you can... Uh, special? I think. <laughs> from Grave? Uh, Thunder Dragon Duo, I don't yeah. think it's going to come up. Nothing I think you else special is summon from the Grave. Moment, so it, it, it does something good when it destroys things by battle. Um, and I guess we will find out when it destroys yep. something by battle. It was a bit of a shame 
Cyril didn't do any battle damage. Indeed. Because now we can look at the time, the and there is time. actually not much time left. So, so as long as Samir gets into his battle phase, all right. He should be good. Yeah, it seems like there's very little Cyril can do. Um, and he appears to be moving quite fast. Yeah. He's using uh, the Titan to clear the board. And, and I feel like he may have enough to... Oh, I mean, I don't think it's going to be too important, but... Yeah. Maybe he's not paying that much attention to the time and is just trying to OTK his opponent. He has to be careful, though, because if it ends in a draw, it would be actually <laughs> quite <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, oh, wow. What's in Cyril's hand? Does he got? I don't think he, you can do anything about this. Unless I mean, you, you could have, have a chronograph in hand, but it's he, pretty unlikely. He would have played it already if he's... Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, battle phase is entered in time, and he has enough. I feel uh, like that's that. He doesn't even need to send it to the graveyard, apparently. Yeah. I think you special one from the deck, or you added? Yeah, you added. It appears to be adding. Yeah. And yeah, the first, uh, first blood, blood is uh, is here. And, and it is enough. It is a scratch, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a big scratch. Yeah, it's a big scratch, exactly. <laughs> it's not so small. Oh, he actually gives him one more turn, but and that's not that's enough. That. A nice end shake, and uh, that's the game. Samir uh, takes it, and he wins the match. So let's go back to the post-match discussion to talk about what we just saw. Well, that was uh, quite a showing from Samir. Uh, he's still uh, one of the best players around. He wants to win another title, I'm sure. And uh, we got to see that snow. Yeah. Do a lot of work. Exactly. Both uh, game one and game three, we had the similar openings. Game one was even better, but all he had to do was send the snow with Brilliant Fusion, and he got, as you said, interruptions and resources for the next round. Just all around pretty crazy. Yeah. Like, because I mean, it doesn't seem like much, because you like, maybe, okay, I was going to use those Thunder Dragons anyway, but you can't normally use them in your opponent's turn. The exactly. snow lets you trigger all of them. In your opponent's That's turn, really good. Which yeah, is pretty nuts. And uh, we gotta say though, kudos to Cyril. He was surely under pressure playing against one of his idols, senseis, <laughs> whatever you wanna call them. And he, he actually yeah. had a pretty good show. Yeah, friends, of course. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty good show in game two. And uh, he he could have uh, he tried his best uh, in game three, but unfortunately it was a little bit too much with the snow and uh, the other interruptions. The, uh, the bell looked yeah. like it was gonna put a damper on things. I think maybe the keeping the pendulum core may have cost him there. If that had been some yeah. other monster, maybe... It's possible, but at the same time, if he would have learned a sphere mode, that would have changed the entire match. Exactly. And yeah. uh, we can't blame him. His side deck was well built. He just didn't draw the exact same pieces he needed at the time. But, well, this uh, essentially concludes uh, our future matches for today. Uh, we're going to be back uh, tomorrow with more, but first, let's go back to Oliver for the interview with the winner, Samir. Welcome back to the main event stage, one last time on day one of YCS Milan 2018. I had no idea we had that many French players in the venue, but they all showed up for your feature match. So how did it go down? How did you feel going into the match? I like this match. Well, honestly, uh, really, all time, good end. I'm thinking just in main uh, match two, uh, middle end, I'm thinking just me misplaying. Okay. Oh, you think you might have made a misplay. But um, it was a very friendly atmosphere, it seemed like. You, you, you're still friends after this match. Yes, it's really funny. You all match, uh, Cyril and me, uh, all time uh, black and uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you also you also had the advantage that all the judges they don't speak French, so you could say whatever you wanted. <laughs> yeah, I speak French, and it, it's little more simple because you, me, bad English. <laughs> Your friends are making you nervous, I can tell, yeah. Not very nice of you. So, tell us a little bit about the French community. Are you guys playing together? Are you preparing for these tournaments together? Yes, uh, just uh, the French player, uh, little group, and all little group concerned for uh, all uh, for prepare the, the whole event of right. uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! And did you all go to all of the events in Europe this year? Yes. 
Yes, you all get the ordeal of a traveler play mat as well. Ah, is uh, me yes, and much people uh, French yes. Okay, okay. Yes. So we see you at a couple of events. All right. Yeah. So now you won the last round, feeling pretty good. I mean, you're always feeling pretty good. <laughs> what are, what do you think? What's tomorrow gonna be like? What is gonna be most important for you? Ah. It is important for you to, tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, for you. Ah, for you, for me. What's your What's your strategy? Are you gonna have a good night's sleep, or are you gonna go out party with your friends? Ah, okay. Uh, ah, for if I uh, game uh, uh, day two for playing, okay. Uh, thinking, um, just uh, playing funny on the a good time for this event is essential. I'm thinking okay. oh, after after on the, if I playing this thinking I uh, good brain the meta game on just last run is my friends and it's not uh, the matchup uh, prevent and I want uh, the FTK deck. Yeah. Don't light. <laughs> okay, so you're not happy about your chances against that particular deck. All right, but that is it. That is day one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope to see you again tomorrow. You guys, um, in case you're a tiny bit um, confused with the time, it is almost 10 p.m. over here. We're going to be starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. So adjust, adjust your clocks accordingly. It's, it's almost 12 hours but not quite. So 11 hours, we're going to be back with the coverage of YCS Milan when we're going to be starting day number two and see who's going to be crowned the new champion here in the last tournament of 2018.